Joining me on the news from New York, USA, is Paul Abolo, president of Ecologistics Integrated Services. He joins me to discuss issues of this year's observance of World Meteorological Day. Thank you very much for joining us, Paul. Thank you very much for having me. Um, I'm actually from Abuja, Nigeria. Oh, my um, apologies. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, from Abuja. Where is Africa's place in meteorological observation as disaster mitigation tool? Well, um, let's look at the big picture of climate change and see where Africa is in climate change. A very important element of the climate change is awareness. And talked under the awareness and sensitization is the early warning um, systems and the signals. For Africa, we are well below um, the margin. Uh, in terms of early warning, 33% of the people are reached. But in Africa, it's a lot less than that. So you'll find that even the advocacy and the awareness about climate change, uh, weather conditions, and the rest of it is not as scale in Africa. We are dismally below in terms of information. Let's bring this back home to Nigeria. Uh, in Nigeria, every year we have the seasonal climate uh, prediction done by NIMEC, which is quite good and beautiful. But I will suggest that we expand the scope a little bit because uh, climate change involves lives and livelihood um, across uh, several dimensions. Now, um, the SPC is focused more on agriculture and on the economy, but it's really more than that. It, is, uh, it needs to include um, resource conflicts, it needs to include security challenges. We need to expand it to deal with health issues. And then we need to focus more on what we are already doing now, but it has to be impact-based. People need to see the consequences of um, climate change, especially with uh, extreme weather conditions. So back to your answer, um, Africa needs to do more. In Nigeria, we are trying, but we need to do a whole lot more to increase the reach and to increase the knowledge about the impact of um, climate change and then climate action. All right, how much of meteorological observations have we deployed to forecast flood, drought, and environmental challenges in Nigeria, for instance? Um, like I said earlier, NIMED is doing um, a great job in that area, and it needs to be expanded. Uh, if you look at the NIMED report that comes out every year, you will realize that there is um, an unusual focus on agriculture. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that, but there is they need to increase that kind of focus to other segments of the economy. So um, Nigeria needs to do more. Then in terms of reach, um, we need to reach more people and then it needs to be more consistent than just one or two events. And then the grassroots need to know about it. The schools need to know about it. Um, the common citizens need to know about it. So it needs to be continuous. It doesn't have to be an, just an event or a flash on the TV, no. It needs to be continuous so that it can adequately impact on lives and livelihoods. In the interest of time, I'd like you to uh, respond to this maybe in a minute, please. Uh, Lagos and major cities in Nigeria have insistently suffered flooding and the rains are near. In what ways can the ordinary citizen mitigate its effects? Well, um, you understand that climate change has an anthropogenic uh, dimension to it. So with the climate change impacts, um, if you do what you ought to do, you will reduce the impact of climate change. I'll give you an example. Um, waste management. If you do not adequately manage your waste and you clog the drains and the channels, when the flood comes, the impact will be greater. So as citizens, number one, we need to clean up our environment. We need to also clean up our behavior towards the environment. I don't want to go into pollution and the rest of it, but let's look at the basics now. If you want to be able to better manage the impact of floods, you need to clean the channels. That does not mean that floods will not come, but if you clean the channels and you're prepared for it, then the impact will be less. 
All right, Mr. Paul Abolo, thank you very much for joining us on NC Continental Prime. Thank you for having me.